good morning i hope you're having a lovely weekend um no makeup tutorial from me this morning i just want to tell you a story please stick with me i want to tell you about one of my favorite brands of all time bico so bico are a social enterprise and they make soaps and the soaps are literally three and four quid to buy but 80% of their workforce is comprised of blind, disabled or disadvantaged people. And it's as simple as if we could all just buy this soap when we're getting, you know, the weekly household essentials, we are literally creating jobs for people that otherwise struggle to find them. This charity is down the road from me, so I've been lucky to spend some time with them on a couple of occasions. One of them was this week, and I just really wish more people knew about them. Um, the products themselves are amazing, and as I say, they're three and four pounds. Um, I think soap is something that we all need to buy all the time. You know, I've got it in the bathroom, in the kitchen here. It's something that we're all using. If we could just buy from this brand, it makes such a huge difference and for, for difference and funds this amazing enterprise. So I've made notes here for myself so that I don't forget anything because I'm really passionate about just spreading the word for them. Um, they're available in Waitrose, the co-op, Sainsbury's. They're also coming to another um, retailer. I'm not sure if I can share yet, but they're soon gonna be really readily available all over the country. I also wanted to show you, they do like these pump soaps as well. And because the mechanic in this um, makes the soap foam, you don't waste as much water because it just comes out as foam straight away. You wash your hands, you rinse it. And they have this little tracker down the bottle. So as you go down, you see how much water you've saved. If you've got kids and you're trying to teach them about, you know, everything about being a bit more sustainable, a bit more mindful. What a great way to teach them. It's such a lovely product. And one thing I would point out about this, one of my best friends came to stay with me last week. And let's be honest, if you watch my videos and things, you will know I have an abundance of products. My bathroom is ridiculous. And anyone that comes to my house, it's just, you know, use whatever you want, take whatever you want. She came out of the bathroom last week, think of all the things in that bathroom, and she said, what is that hand wash? And this was the thing that had actually caught her eye over anything. It's absolutely lovely stuff. It's organic, it's vegan. Let me read all the stuff off the back, back of the box. Vegan, pH balanced, SLS free, hypoallergenic, um, never test on animals. It's also plastic free free, recyclable on the outside and biodegradable on the inside. I can't say enough good things about them. So I'm so glad that you've stayed with me till now. How can we help? So first of all, I just think it's an amazing story that resonates with so many people. Um, I first came to hear about them because my brother has autism. I'm very uh, mindful and receptive to hearing stories of people that are just doing good for people that need a bit more support. It's nice to hear of an organisation that has thought of a business model that includes everybody. Um, first of all, please share the story. I'm going to link all their social media pages. They're at beco.uk on Instagram, B-E-C-O. It's short for better considered. Um, just share the story. Please share it on your Facebook, on your Instagram, text your friends, whoever you think might like it. Um, next is the obvious one. If you're on your food shop and you're just picking up your household bits, please just consider switching to them. I'm sure there's a soap that you always get or use. Try this one next time. You're going to love it and you're doing a great thing. Um, ask your workplace. Ask your workplace or your children's school what soap do they use? Can they switch to Beco? Where are they getting their supplies from? Something like that, if we could just make this little chain spread really far, would make such a huge difference. What else is on my notes? Also, what I wanted to say, if you do start following them on social media, I love their social media. I think it's really funny. They've just got a good sense of humour. I found out that their social media is done by this company, Digital Moms. Well, actually, if you Google it, you'll have to write Digital Mums, but I'm from Birmingham, so I say mum. But anyway, Digital Mums, um, they train 
mums that have just had babies upskill them in social media because social media is such a great one for kind of being able to do remotely so the more they upskill these mums it increases the likelihood of the mums then being able to find like a flexible working arrangement that suits them and their baby like everything about this brand is just incredible so please buy please share the story that would just be huge please follow them um if you're a brand as well if you're you know a, a beauty person following me watching this if you're going to be able to spread this message please reach out to the tape agency who represent them go and arrange a visit go and you know see if you could work this into a feature if you've got a big head office somewhere think about stocking this in your workplace um, also I should point out this soap that I keep picking up there's basically a number of different products you've got your pump soap You've got your bar soap, and this is the newest bar soap, which is actually a shampoo bar. This one's three seventy five. Um, you can use it all over your body and your hair. My friend came with me when we went this week, and he's going to Glastonbury, and he was like, "Well, that's Glastonbury sorted, isn't it? Because it's everything you would need in one." Um, they're just really great. Give them a go. I love them. Check out their social media. You're gonna fall in love with them. And I really hope that you can do your little bit to support them because they're fantastic. Um, the founder, Camilla, well, there's two founders, Camilla and Diana. They're both incredible people. Um, I did something quite special with them this week that I'll share with you soon. But allowing Camilla to really um, just explain her vision for the brand and the story. I spoke to Michael also this week, who's worked there for a long time, the loveliest guy. Um, I've met quite a few of the team that work there and heard their story and it's just the most amazing brand but have a little look for yourself don't take my word for it and please consider them next time you're doing your shop